Welcome everyone to the Lost Forgotten Fish Tank stuff. Here we have Prozzi Pro, which is for worms, basically. Internal worms, external worms, I don't know, wait, hold on, let's see if I can, there we go, move it out and zoom in. So, worms in general, okay, and, um, seems pretty safe to me, because what I just did is did a direct dosage with this guy I filled the hose up and then I sucked tank water in okay because what just happened is there was some little flat guys over here and I wasn't sure if they were just some big flat copiapods or worms Yesterday, the way I saw them moving, I kind of started to think they were flatworms. Well, today I saw Bubbles picking at the rock, and suddenly she's swimming around freaking out. She's got something stuck on her gill. And she did not look happy like she was, just, this is just ten minutes ago. She was swimming around flicking at stuff like, like she was in trouble. Okay, I was like worried. I jumped up out of my seat. And in a, in a moment's decision, I managed to experiment and come up with a successful direct dosing method for ProsiPro. And, basically, um, so I have my upstream current during the day right here. Okay. I've refined it down to, um, basically at night this pump turns off so all the current goes from left to right okay then at midnight I got one click and then two clicks and then five clicks and then it's on for the rest of the day so that's you know kind of like just a, a tied back and forth simulating pattern with as much as the powerful pump on as I can because I don't want to minimize current in the tank okay but anyways, the only reason I was pointing that out is because I was getting the air bubble out of the top of the syringe and just kind of let that drop down upstream of the clowns. Because whenever I'm at the tank, they're right here waiting for whatever I'm feeding them because I feed them right upstream and I just let it go to them just like plankton. Unless I'm putting my hands in the tank, in which case I'll... Uh, what I've been doing lately is, is my hand's already wet because I usually forget until after I'm working on the thing. So I'll take my left hand, sprinkle some flake food into my right hand, and put the hand back down in there and just kind of open it up and let the flake food come to them and let them get used to the inside of my hand, you know. And they get closer and closer every time. Um, not quite feeding right out of my hand yet, but I haven't been holding big brine shrimp. Oh, they'll... they'll They'll take a big chunk of brine shrimp, but I, I don't, you know, I only did a couple of chunks of brine shrimp when we first got the brine shrimp, you know, just for fun. And because I didn't have a cyanide problem yet. <laughs> but I had only did it twice to this tank at all, so. What are you doing? Are you biting the freaking tentacles off the anemone again? They've been being better about the anemone because I uh, forgot about that rule. Don't feed brine shrimp to the anemone or your clownfish will think it tastes like brine shrimp. Um, so anyways, back to this guy. <laughs> oh no, I got sidetracked. Ugh, shocker. So, getting the air bubbles out, all right, then suck some more back in. And then what I did was... I just stuck it right in these holes where I know the flatworms are and just put a little bit in at a time, just a little bit in at a time, just a little bit in at a time. And then with what was left, I came over here and squirted those relatively harmless ones, but you know, they annoy the mushrooms, squirted those guys right the hell off of these mushrooms. And there's not one left. Basically, it was diluted, so I, I, you know, I squirted it on there, and it weakened them. Sorry. I squirted it on there, and it weakened them. 
and then once the tube was empty I just kind of blasted the blasted them some water that's why they're all shriveled up again because after I had fogged I kind of see if I can line it up I fogged right about there okay because the current just kind of carried it right across them and then with the last little bit I did like a kind of a puff on both of them and that really seemed to make them things stress out so then what I did is um, see I took one jet back in here and kind of rinsed it into the holes on the other side of the rock where I hadn't seen them but I think you know the holes might be connected and they're close holes so there might be some in there and then the next rinse out squirt I just used several squirts to blast them guys right off of those mushrooms and man they came right off after being hit with that stuff so immediately when I had emptied out the air bubbles and that little leftover bit had dropped back into the tank bubbles and zoom were right there so bubbles just I don't know what happened I, did, I you know like I didn't see it but she was immediately better okay apparently the thing wasn't irritating enough to where she didn't want to avoid eating but yeah still I was worried um I have bad news though. They ate the eggs on past night. There are no more eggs. And I thought about trying to turn the rock to where we could get a better view of it, but I'm not going to bother with that anymore. I'm not going to stress them out putting the camera up to the tank again. Um, so we got we got hours before hatch that didn't hatch. And uh, yesterday I put a bunch of snails on the rock to clean the algae off of it for them. I just took them off this morning and tried to rearrange everything just exactly the way it had been. And hopefully that'll work. So yeah, sorry for doing general updates every time I do a topic. But, you know, there's a few people that are friends of mine that are subscribers that are interested in setting up fish tanks. And my dad, who, you know, hasn't had the time for like 20 years. So his knowledge is like way behind the hobbies you know so he, he I'm helping him play catch up I'm helping a couple of friends of mine who are thinking about saltwater tanks and I'm just trying to give as much advice as I can give as much information as I can you know from my experience what I've seen firsthand and um, what I've verified from research and that experience but so yeah medicines like this and this is one of the rare exceptions to the nothing is reef safe rule. This really does seem to be pretty reef safe. Except for this, just like flatworm axe, okay, if you have a lot of it, a lot of these fuckers in your tank, you might want to start with this method that I just demonstrated here first. Because what people have been having is problems, uh, problems with, what people have been having problems with, and it's easy for me to say, is dosing the entire tank with the Prozzi Pro, and then you get a giant emotion, I mean, emotion spike. Ammonia spike. <laughs> you can call Mariah Carey if you have an emotion spike. But, um, but, uh, uh so all the, all the dying flatworms and everything, all in your tank and in your sump and everywhere, just like a giant dead fish when you combine their biomass okay so what this method could allow people to do and you know try it at your own risk I'm not an expert I don't think there are any experts in this hobby um, is use a small amount dilute it and very very carefully gently slowly kill them fuckers where they are and you know I would say if you took out the nest that's half a dead fish then if you want to get rid of the rest of them after that cycle has taken place then you can dose the tank you know what I'm saying so you take out a couple of chunks of them right then you go for all the ones that that missed. You know? 
and within you know like a week period of time the ammonia should abate but the worms won't have grown back you know they'll probably if you get like the actual concentrated area of them it's going to take several weeks for their population to rebound so good luck to you if you want to try this at home uh, like I said it's just an idea I can't uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything is a how-to video when I'm making an original thing because I don't want to be responsible if it screws up your shit <laughs> which I don't think it would but still I'm just being cautious disclaiming basically I saw people do it though I'm doing it because I'm a monkey monkey they monkey do just like my Eric the car guy like and subscribe yeah speaking of like and subscribe I'm gonna shut the fuck up now so like and subscribe and whatnot peace